Kayak Adventures with East Coast Kayaking. The Seeker ST16 Kayak is truly portable, offers real performance, and enables you to truly explore. We were not travelling light, 298 kilograms of equipment and provisions to support our nine day expedition into Tasmania's southwest wilderness was loaded aboard Par Avion's Brittany Norman Islander. attempted to approach Melaleuca by the spectacular Western Arthurs. However, due to low visibility and cloud ceiling, we were forced to bank steeply and head for the beautiful and rugged coastline. Melaleuca Lagoon came into sight as we made the approach to Melaleuca's gravel airstrip. in hope of sighting a orange belly parrot before assembling and loading the sea kayaks and starting our journey. We spent two days acclimatising at Clayton's Corner, a warm and comfortable former homestead and a trailhead to Mount Beatty which offers amazing vistas of Tasmania's World Heritage Area. our next campsite at Schooner Cove, navigating via colour photocopies of maps and charts on waterproof paper, which worked extremely well, via the Narrows and Parker Bay. early the next morning to prove the point the first pancake never quite works out and to undertake a solid paddle to settlement point via the exposed waters of Port Davy and via the Break Sea Islands. We pitched camp for two nights at Settlers Point, as fresh water was easily accessible at Blackwater Creek at high tide. The next day we undertook a day journey up the Davy River and through the Davy Gorge and upstream as high as we could until the rapids proved too difficult to pass. <laughs> the time came and we headed back towards the start, aiming off for the Break Sea Islands. We spent two nights at Bramble Cove, an idyllic setting. This enabled us to explore and relax, watch a couple of movies under the shelter made possible by the Power Gorilla. Very good weather. Nice start.
we handrailed the western side of Bathurst Channel on our way back to Clayton Corner to spend our last night reflecting upon the journey that has been. We pushed off early the last morning to reach Malaluka with ample time to pack down all equipment to make our connecting flight back to Hobart. The anxious wait was over when Pa Avion broke through the low-lying cloud and landed, enabling us to return to Melbourne to spend Christmas lunch with our families. Once again, the Track Seeker 16 kayak enabled us to undertake an amazing adventure. From commercial programs, contact Roaring 40 Sea Kayak Company and drop past East Coast Kayaking and the Kayak Shop to discuss your kayaking needs. East Coast Kayaking, the Sea Kayaking Specialists.